All right, good to see everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you to the Giants, to Coach Judge, uh, coming out here and, and getting two really good days of work in. Uh, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll play those guys on, on Sunday. But I thought it was a really, really good work uh, in both days, situationally. Uh, so pleased with that. Uh, on Sunday, playing the Giants, we'll have a very similar plan that we had this last ball game in terms of the guys that we rested. Uh, but I'm going to work through that with the coaches coming off the field just to see uh, what our depth chart looks like and, and that type of thing, the rotations. Uh, but that will be the plan on Sunday. And with that, I will take any questions you guys have. Got close to the edge there with uh, tempers rising. Is that what you, why you called it right together there in the red zone drill? It was. We had, there was only a little bit left in practice and just wanted to make sure we finished it strong and finished it smart. Uh, Joe did the same thing with his team. And uh, the guys get it. And, and, you know, it was hotter today. Uh, obviously, down in the red zone, there's condensed space. So uh, the, the intensity was raised, and that's okay. It's football. It's a physical game, and it's an emotional game. Uh, but I was pleased with how the guys uh, kept that under, uh, in check. Um, when you say the same plan, Baker for sure won't play that. Correct. Do you know if you decided he's going to play against the Falcons at all? We're, uh, what's today? Friday, what is today? It is, is it Friday? We'll see next week. So the majority of starters will rest. Um, like Miles and Clowney came back today. Right. Was that more to get in them just back into practice but not playing Sunday? Exactly. So they, they, they fit in the majority, okay. uh, that yeah. majority of guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're just in the normal progression of their uh, rehab. Do you have anything on uh, Greedy and Nick? Greedy went in, looked like early, and then Nick uh, got a thing out. I don't have an update uh, on those particular those guys. No. What about Jacob Phillips? Do you know how that happened, Kevin? Yeah, I saw it happen uh, on the tape. He just reached out, uh, was trying to defend a, a guy running a route, and very unfortunate. You know, I feel for Jacob, uh, but he'll bounce back. Uh, he'll attack that rehab. Does he have surgery? He's really have surgery? He will have surgery. Yes. The hope is that maybe at the end of the year he might. I think we'll see. Yeah, I think Andrew will address that. Is there any update on Tony Fields? We've seen him out here. Do you have a chance, you think, to see him on the field in training camp? I'm hopeful, but no real update. He's just uh, he's doing a nice job in his rehab, and then we'll see how it goes. Okay. Kevin Greedy had come back for a couple of days and then pulled up the other day. Um, do you have any idea on time frames for that? No, I don't have it. I, I don't okay. have an update. And is it? I mean, but that, is it extra disappointing because he fought so hard to come back, and we all know the history of last year. No, he's uh, he's battling. He's competitive. Uh, so we'll just deal with you know deal with each day. And but I'm uh, I'm hopeful. I take it you didn't see the this fight after practice. I didn't. Who who was it? Was it you and somebody? No. <laughs> it was Troy Hill and Sterling Shepard. For real, there was. Okay. I don't think it reconnected. That's news to me. Thank you for breaking that to me. <laughs> yeah. Walker said they're playing around, but it looked real to us. So. He to, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll get. I'll have to get updated on that one. There's some haymakers thrown in the air. Let's put it that way. Okay. <laughs> I'll review the tape. It was a baseball fight. Don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> um, can we talk to Baker earlier? And he said through camp and early in the year, he's really focused on taking care of the ball and pre avoiding pre-snap penalties, which I know – you preach all the time. So, I mean, how often do you talk to him about that? And how good is it to know that that message is getting through? Yeah, I think that's uh, part of playing that position. Obviously, you can just start with how you take care of the ball. I mean, you touch it every play. Um, so that just falls in line with what we believe as a team in terms of how important the turnover margin is. So that's something that AVP, our entire offense, is, is coaching very hard. And then the pre-snap penalties just falls under. We, we want to have a very clean operation. We talked about Sheldon Day a ton. Mm -hmm. um, does he flash speed? He's done a nice job. He gets in there. Uh, he does a nice job in pass rush, both in the drills and in the one-on-one -on -one drills. Uh, so, we, you know, we'll see how he looks in this game, the next games. But he's getting a real, real opportunity. Kevin, did you feel like, um, in terms of, it seemed like things were getting chippy. You was getting tense, but you were at least during the practice, <laughs> you, were, you guys were able to diffuse things. Do you think that? that the way you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, we, we got good work in. Uh, I thought the guys took care of each other. Again, it's, it's an emotional game, and, and I understand that there's going to be jawing back and forth, but uh, I thought we got the work in that we planned to get in. It seemed like there was, like, like Walker, like, maybe expressing frustration to you. Was that about, like, no. you know, he 
he wanted to like defend himself or something, but didn't necessarily think he should? No, it's it's football. I, I would file that under it's football. <laughs> JC, JC wasn't in team drills or anything? We held him out. He's good. Regular rest. Yeah.